Hello guys, how are you? I hope so that you will be fine and enjoying good health. Today I have selected a topic on a topic dermatitis which is called as eczema. Now let us discuss what it is. At atopic dermatitis or eczema is a condition that causes dry, itchy and inflamed skin. It's common in young children but can occur at any age. Atopic dermatitis is long-lasting, chronic and tends to flare. Sometimes it can be irritating but it is not contagious. And people with atopic dermatitis are at risk of developing food allergies, hay fever and asthma. Moisturizing regularly and following other skin care habits can relieve itching and prevent new outbreak flares. Treatment may also include medicated ointments or creams. What are the symptoms? Atopic dermatitis or eczema symptoms can appear anywhere on the body and vary widely from person to person. They may include dry, cracked skin, itchiness, pruritus, rash or swollen skin that varies in color depending on your skin color. Small raised bumps on brown or black skin oozing and crusting. Second skin, darkening of the skin around the eyes, raw sensitive skin from scratching. Atopic dermatitis often begins before the age of 5 and may continue into the teen and adult years. Some, For some people it flares and then clears up for a time, even for several years. When to see a doctor, talk with a healthcare provider if you or your child has symptoms of atopic dermatitis. It is so uncomfortable that the condition is affecting sleep and daily activities has a skin infection and look for new streaks, pus, yellow scabs and has symptoms even after trying self-care steps. Seek immediate medical attention if you have a child who has a fever and has the rash looks infected. So what are the causes? of it. In some people, atopic dermatitis is related to a gene variation that affects the skin's ability to provide protection. With a weak barrier function, the skin is less able to retain moisture and protect against the bacteria, irritants, allergens and environmental factors such as tobacco smoke. In other people, atopic dermatitis is caused by too much of the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus on the skin. This displaces helpful bacteria and disrupts the skin's barrier functions. A weak skin barrier function might also trigger an immune system response that causes the inflamed skin and other symptoms. Atopic dermatitis eczema is one of the several types of dermatitis. Other common types are contact dermatitis and seborrheic dermatitis dandruff and dermatitis is not contagious. What are the risk factors involved? The main risk factors for atopic dermatitis is having had eczema, allergies, hay fever or asthma in the past. Having family members with these conditions also increases your risk. What are the complications? Complications of atopic dermatitis eczema may include asthma and hay fever, food allergies, chronic itchy scaly skin, patches of skin that's darker or lighter than the surrounding area, and skin infections, irritant, hand dermatitis, allergic contact dermatitis, sleep problems, mental health conditions. So let us discuss one by one asthma and hay fever. Many people with atopic dermatitis develop asthma and hay fever and this can happen before or after developing atopic dermatitis. And now food allergies. People with atopic uh, dermatitis often develop food allergies. One of the main symptoms of this condition is hives which is a uretic area and the chronic itchy scaly skin, uh, skin condition called neurodermatitis. Lichen uh, simplex chronicus starts with a patch of itchy skin. You scratch the area which provides only temporary relief. Scratching actually makes the skin itchier because it activates the nerve fibers in your skin. Over time, you may scratch out of habit and this condition can cause the affected skin to become discolored, thick and leathery. Patches of skin that's darker or lighter than the surrounding area. This complication after the rash has healed in the uh, is called the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation. It is more common in people with brown or black skin. It might take several months for the discoloration to fade. Then skin infections, repeated scratching that breaks the skin can cause open sores and cracks. These increase the risk of infection from bacteria and viruses. And these skin infections can spread and become life-threatening. Then irritant head dermatitis. This especially affects people whose hands are often wet and exposed to harsh soaps and detergents and disinfectant at work. Then allergic contact dermatitis. This condition is common in people with atopic dermatitis. Allergic contact dermatitis is an itchy rash caused by touching substances you are allergic to. The color of the rash varies depending on your skin color and sleep problems. The itching 
itchiness of the atopic dermatitis can interfere with your sleep pattern then mental health conditions atopic dermatitis is associated with depression and anxiety and this may be related to constant itching and sleep problems common among people with atopic dermatitis what is the prevention De depending uh, developing a basic skin care routine may help prevent eczema flares the following tips may help reduce the drying effect of bathing number one is moisture your skin at least twice a day creams ointments shea butter and lotion seal in moisture choose a product or product that work well for you ideally the best one for you will be safe effective affordable and unscented using petroleum jelly on your baby's skin may help prevent development of atopic dermatitis number two is taking a daily bath or shower use warm rather than hot water and limit your bath or shower to about 10 minutes Number three is use a gentle non-soap cleanser. Choose a cleanser that's free of dyes, alcohols and fragrance for your children. You usually need only warm water to get them clean. No soap or bubble bath needed. Soap can be especially irritating to the skin of the young children. For people of any age, deodorant soaps and antibacterial soaps can remove too much of the skin's natural oils and dry the skin. Don't scrub the skin with a washcloth or loafer and pad dry after bathing gently pat the skin with a soft towel apply moisture riser while your skin is still damp within three minutes the triggers for atopic dermatitis vary widely from person to person try to identify and avoid irritants that trigger your eczema in general avoid anything that causes an itch because scratching often triggers a flare Common triggers for atopic dermatitis include rough wool fabric, dry skin, skin infection, heat and sweat, stress, cleaning products, dust mite and pet dander, mold, pollen, smoke from tobacco, cold and dry air, fragrances, other irritating chemicals. Infants and children may have flares triggered by eating certain foods such as eggs, cow's milk, talk with your health. Uh, child's health care provider about identifying potential food allergies once you understand what triggers your eczema talk with your health care provider about how to manage your symptoms and prevent flares now we would come to diagnosis and the treatment so to diagnose atopic dermatitis your health care provider will likely talk with you about your symptoms examine your skin and review your medical history you may need to test to identify allergies and rule out other skin diseases. If you think a certain food caused your child's rash, ask your health care provider about potential food allergies. Then patch testing. Your doctor may be recommend patch testing on your skin. In this test, a small amount of different substances are applied to your skin and then covered. During visits over the next few days, the doctor looks at your skin for signs of a reaction. Patch testing can help diagnose the specific types of allergies causing your dermatitis. Now we come to the treatment. Treatment of atopic dermatitis may start with regular moisturizing and other self-care habits. If these don't help, your healthcare provider might suggest medicated creams that control itching and help repair skin. These are sometimes combined with other treatments. Atopic dermatitis can be persistent. You may need to try various treatments over months or years to control it. And even if the treatment is successful, symptoms may return or flare up. Now, we come to the medication. Medicated product applied to the skin. Many options are available to help control aging and repair the skin. Products are available in various strengths and as cream, gels and ointment. Talk with your healthcare provider about the options and your preferences. Whatever you use, apply it as directed often twice a day before you moisturize. Overuse of a corticosteroid product applied to the skin may cause side effects such as thinning of the skin. Creams or ointments with a calcineurin inhibitor might be a good option for those over age 2. Examples include tacrolimus, protopic and pimeprolimus elidel apply it as directed before you moisturize avoid a strong sunlight when using these products the fda requires that these products have a black box warning about the risk of lymphoma 
This warning is based on rare cases of lymphoma among people using topical calcineurin inhibitors. After 10 years of study, no causal relationship between these products and lymphoma and no increased risk of cancer have been found. Then drugs to fight the infection, your health can provide me prescribe antibiotic pills to treat an infection, then pills that control inflammation. For more severe eczema, your health care provider may prescribe pills to help control your symptoms. Options might include cyclosporine, methotrexate, prednisone, mycophenolate, and azathioprine. These pills are effective but can not be used long term because of potential serious side effects. Now, other options for severe eczema, the injectable biologics, monoclonal antibodies, dupilumab, dopizent, and trilokinumab, adbri might be options for people with moderate to severe disease who do not respond well to other treatments. Studies show that it is safe and effective in easing the symptoms of atopic dermatitis. Dupilumab is for people over the age of 6 and Trilokinumab is for adults. Now the therapies, wet dressings and effective intensive treatment for severe eczema involves applying a corticosteroid ointment and sealing in the medication with a wrap of wet gauze topped with a layer of dry gauze. Sometimes this is done in a hospital for people with widespread lesions because it's labor intensive and required nursing expertise. Or ask your healthcare provider about learning how to use this technique at home safely. Then light therapy that this treatment is used for people who either don't get better with tropical treatments or rapidly flare again after treatment. The simplest form of the light therapy, phototherapy involves exposing the affected area to control amounts of natural sunlight. Other form use artificial ultraviolet A, U, V, A and narrow band ultraviolet B, U, V, U, V, B alone or with drugs. Thou effective long-term light therapy has harmful effects including premature skin aging, changes in skin color, hyperpigmentation and an increased risk of skin cancer. For these reasons, phototherapy is just commonly used in young children and is not given to infants. Talk with your healthcare provider about the pros and cons of the light therapy. Then counseling if you are embarrassed or frustrated by your health condition, skin condition, it can help to talk with a therapist or other counselor. Then relaxation, behavior modification and biofeedback. These approaches may help people who scratch out of habit. Then baby eczema. Treatment for eczema in babies infantile eczema include identifying and avoiding skin irritants, avoiding extreme temperatures, giving your baby a short bath in warm water and applying a cream of ointment while the skin is still damp. See your baby's health care provider if these steps don't improve the rash or it looks infected. Your baby might need a prescription medication to control the rash or to treat an infection. Your healthcare provider might also recommend an oral antihistamine to help lessen the itch and cause drowsiness, which may be helpful for nighttime itching and uh, discomfort. The type of antihistamine that causes drowsiness may negatively affect the school performance of some children, so in this regard, desloratadine has been helpful. So, another major our lifestyle and home remedies. Taking care of the sensitive skin is the first step in treating atopic dermatitis and preventing flares to help reduce itching and soothe inflamed skin. Try these self-care measures. Number one is moisture your skin at least twice a day. Find a product or a combination of product that works for you. You might try bath oils, creams, lotions, shea butter, ointments or sprays for a child. The twice a day regimen might be an ointment before bedtime and a cream before school. Ointments are greasier and may sting less when applied. Choose products that are free of dyes, alcohol, fragrances and other ingredients that might irritate the skin. Allow the moisturizer to absorb into the skin before getting dressed. Number second is apply an anti-age cream to the affected area, a non-prescription cream containing at least one person, one person hydrocortisone can temporarily Apply an 
एंटी एज क्रीम टू द अफेक्टेड एरिया ए नॉन प्रेस्क्रिप्शन क्रीम कंटेनिंग एट लीस्ट वन परसेंट हाइड्रोकोटिजोन कैन टेम्पर लीव द एच अप्लाई इट नो मोर देन ट्वाइस अ डे टू द अफेक्टेड एरिया बिफोर मॉइस्चराइजिंग वंस योर रिएक्शन हैज इम्प्रूव यू मे यूज दिस टाइप ऑफ क्रीम लेस ऑफन टू प्रिवेंट फ्लेयर्स टेक एन ओरल एलर्जी और एंटी एच मेडिकेशन ऑप्शन इंक्लूड नॉन प्रेस्क्रिप्शन एलर्जी मेडिसिन एंटीस्टमीन सच एस एट्रीजीन जायोटेक एलर्जी और फैक्स ऑफ एनाडीन एलर्जी एलर्जा ऑल्सो डाइफिन हाइड्रामीन बेनाड्रल एंड अदर्स मे बी हेल्पफुल फीचिंग एस बट इट कॉज इज ड्राउजीनेस सो इट्स बेटर फॉर बैड टाइम बट डेस्ट लॉरटेडीन इज लेस ड्राउजी द टाइप ऑफ एंटीस्टमीन दैट कॉज इज ड्राउजीनेस मे नेगेटिवली इफेक्ट द स्कूल परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ सम चिल्ड्रन डोंट स्क्रैच राधर देन स्क्रैचिंग वेन यू विच ट्राई प्रेसिंग ऑन और पैटिंग द स्किन कवर द Each area, if you cannot keep from scratching it, keep your nails trimmed. For children, it might help to trim the nails and have them wear socks or gloves at night. Take a daily bath or shower. Use warm rather than hot water. If you are taking a bath, sprinkle the water with colloidal oatmeal, which is finely ground oatmeal made for bathing. Avi, avi no, and soak for less than ten minutes. Then pat dry. apply moisturizer there while the skin is still damp use a gentle non soap cleanser choose one without dyes alcohol or fragrances harsh soaps can wash away your skin's natural oils be sure to rinse off the cleanser completely take a bleach bath the american academy of dermatology recommends a bleach bath for relief from severe or frequent flares talk with your healthcare provider about whether this is good option for you A diluted bleach bath decreases bacteria on the skin and related infections. Add half cup, 118 millimeters of household bleach, not concentrated bleach, to a 40 gallons, 151 liter bath tub filled with warm water. Measurements are for a U.S. standardized size tub filled to the overflow drainage holes. Soak from the neck down or just the affected areas for 5 to 10 minutes. Don't put the head. under water rinse of the bleach water with tap water take a bleach bath two to three ta- times a week use a humidifier hot dry indoor air can parch sensitive skin and worsen itching and flaking a portable home humidifier or humidifier attached to your furnace adds moisture to the air inside your home we are cool smooth textured clothing avoiding clothing that's rough tight or scratchy also in hot weather or while exercising choose lightweight clothing that lets your skin breathe when washing your clothing avoid harsh detergents and fabric softeners added during the drying cycle treat stress and anxiety stress and other emotional disorders can worsen on a topic dermatitis being aware of stress and anxiety taking steps to improve your emotional health may help your skin to so coping and support atopic dermatitis can make you feel uncomfortable and self conscious it can be especially stressful frustrating or embarrassing for adolescent and young adult it can disrupt their sleep and even lead to depression some people may find it helpful to talk with a therapist or other counselor a family member or a friend or it can be helpful to find a support group for people with eczema who know that it's like to live with the condition preparing for your appointment you are likely to start by seeing your primary care provider or you may see a doctor who specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of skin condition dermatologist or allergies allergist so make a list of all medication list your symptoms when they occurred and how long they lasted such as uh, and what uh, uh, factors that trigger the worsen your symptoms such as soaps or detergent tobacco smoke sweating or long hot showers uh, you must list all them and list questions to ask your health care provider ask questions when you want something clarified for atopic dermatitis some basic questions you might ask health care provider and to what might be causing my symptoms are tests needed to confirm the diagnosis what treatment do you recommend if any is this condition temporary or chronic can i wait to see if the condition goes away on its own what are the alternatives to the approach you are suggesting and what skin care routines do you recommend to improve my symptoms what to expect from your doctor healthcare provider is likely to ask you a few questions being ready to answer them may free up time 
to go over any points you want to spend more time on your healthcare provider might ask uh, what are your symptoms and when did they start does anything seem to trigger your symptoms do you or any family members have allergies or asthma are you exposed to any possible irritants from your job or hobbies have you left depressed or been under any unusual stress lately do you come in direct contact with pets or any other animals what product do you use on your skin including soap lotion and cosmetics what household cleaning product do you use how much do your symptoms affect your quality of life including your ability to sleep what treatments have you tried so far has anything helped how often do you shower or bath i hope so that this uh, discussion on the atopic dermatitis will be very informative for you kindly share this video with other individuals as well and if you have liked this video then don't forget to subscribe it and thank you for watching this video have a wonderful nice day thank you very much